Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Thiago and today we are going to create a small product using SWR. Okay, so let's get started. I have here Visual Studio Code where I created an app with create React app and I deleted some, some CSS and other things that have together with the create React app. So basically we have the app and we have an index okay we have the index and i also installed the swr right here okay so i will be using the github api we have here this this link that will return for us the users so we will receive this data okay so let's go to the app I will go in the app and I will import first of all the use effect hook. So right here I will import use effect from react. Okay. And right here I will call the use effect hook. So in this case I will show you an example use the normal approach the the full approach of fetching data where you you fetch the data in the use effect hook so right here i will execute this on mount so basically we will we will have the response that will be uh, in a wait okay so because i am inside uh, use effect i need to create a function to use async await so so uh, we'll create a function called load data that will be in a sync function and inside the function we can just await fetch and the url that's this is not the url this is the url that we want so right here let's copy and paste let's save okay and i need to call this function load data and i have the response and now i need to to make the response equals to response.json because i'm using the fetch api and I will also have in state so I need to import the use state hook and I will put the use state hook right here so it will be user users and set users and the the initial value will be an empty array so okay we have this Let's give it space around here. And what response is assigned, but value. Ah, okay, we need to, after this, we need to set users with the response. And let's just put a console log to, to see the, if the data is arriving correct. So we have the users dot map and we have the current and we want to console log the current value the current value that will be in the map so okay we have the current and let's go to the app i have here let's see if everything is correct let's open the developer tools and yeah we have a lot of objects let's take a look in the structure of an object so we have avatar url we have followers url we have a lot of things so we can for example take the avatar url i don't know if this is always this is required to have an avatar url um i don't think so um 
but okay we have this and let's create a, com a component uh, a folder called components where where we will create a component called user user dot js and i will use this snippet that i have a extension installed to do this and const user i will import this user right here so basically import user from dot slash component slash user okay so in each map i will take the current data and the index and i will call the users component the user component with the key that will be equals to the index and with the data which will be equals to current and i typed something wrong um let's take a look i don't know why a div appeared right here i really don't know why uh, that, this is the div okay and i think the problem is inside the map the user okay i have here not yet we have another problem let's take a look okay divs users dot map we have current and we return okay oh here we have this not yet and readable code detected okay so let's comment this and start writing what we put wrong is that because of the uh, yes i think that's because of this return a div an empty div and let's comment this and this okay the problem is solved so now we need to figure out where was that that error we have the div we have the users dot map okay and here we will have a function that receives the current in the index that will return a user is this okay okay need to put inside here okay now this is working key is equal to index and the data will be equals to current current oh, what was wrong here we have div okay opening and closing div we have this okay and we have the users.map users.map we have one two current index and i think we are return user I think that i really don't know why it's a uh, mr a uh, difficult thing to discover uh, but let's continue with the with the video so basically we have the user right here the user tell to receive the data so in the user component we can just import just make a this structuration where we take the data and and so let's put an image an image with this with this avatar url so let's 
save this. What is this? Image out pro. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, lint. Out is profile. Pictures. I think that's this profile. Okay, we have the images. Let's take a look. Okay, we have the image. That's okay. And let's update this. Okay, that's working. And this is a normal request with with use effect and some fetch API. Okay, so this is the behavior. And now let's make the same thing with use SWR. So basically, we we don't need the use effect in this stage. We can just import the 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 hook from SWR. Is this the correct way of you know, use S? No, I think that's the export default. Let's just confirm confirming this in the documentation use yes it's the default export so we have the use swr and we are going to use this inside our function component because it's a hook so here we have we have this okay we are going to take some data and we are going to use the hook so use swr and we can just put the URL. So with the URL, we can can put here, and this will fetch the data. So the first argument here is the key. So if we pass an URL, that URL will be fetched. So for example, here we have this, and we can take some things, for example, data and AR. So let's take from here, data, okay? So data, and let's rename this to users. Users, and let's, let's do a users.map here. I will save and take a look in the page, but I think we are going to, to see an error, maybe. Yes. Yes, because of the map, because because right here with the use stage we are defining that meaning is an empty array, the initial value, but here we are not defined, so we can just make this okay, this thing, and now it will work. Yeah, it's working, and so with with just two lines, the the line where we import the hook and the line where we we fetch the data, we can have the same behavior we had around here. Okay, so I have users set users I state and use effect and take a look if we just remove this, how much simpler it will be. So let's see. It's much less code it's much much less code so this is the first video it's a a basic implementation of the use swr in the next videos we are going to to enter in more in-depth details of the library